Good morning, and welcome to this presentation. My name is Marissa Reckman, and I'm CEO at Agate Laboratories. And today it is my pleasure to take you through something that is completely fundamental to our company, our purpose, our values, and our ethics. This is something that is so important, whether you are a coworker, a client, or a member of the communities that we serve, we want you to understand what we stand for, what our why is for this company, why we do what we do, the core values that we uphold our, ourselves to each and every day, and how that ties into not only our ethics, but our quality system here at Agate. So let's get started. Here's a picture of what for us represents the Agate globe. Many people ask us, why the globe in your Agate logo? Many understand that from a bricks and mortar standpoint, our company is focused in Canada, and that is true. But we do international work and support programs all across the world every single year. And beyond that, we understand that geographic boundaries are a moot point in today's society. We are interconnected in everything that we do across this company, with our clients, and everybody that we serve. What each of us does resonates with one another. The decisions that we make, the actions that we have, we are all connected in what we do. And that means for us to be better, to grow stronger, and to support one another, we all need to be unified in our vision and our purpose and the values that we represent. So let's talk about our purpose. Let's talk about why we do what we do. Before we even talk about what we do as a company, and if you have additional questions about the services that we provide, the divisions that we represent, or the geographies that we serve, you can look at our full corporate overview, which is loaded internally and externally. But in terms of why we do what we do, the purpose of this company is service beyond analysis. In 1979, when it was incorporated, it was Applied Geosciences and Technology, and it was one small lab here in Calgary, Alberta. In 1982, our current owner, John DeSanti, took the company over. We transitioned to the name Agate Laboratories, and we started, started off on a diversity and growth plan that took us over 41 years. Today, we represent 43 locations coast to coast. But it's more about than just the science for us. It's more than just the results that we put out. This company was built for a purpose beyond that. This company was built to serve. John had an accounting background. He didn't grow up believing that he was going to own and operate a science or analytical laboratory, but he did believe that if you put in hard work, if you worked together, you could build something for the benefit of all. And that's what this company is about. Our purpose is service beyond analysis, and it doesn't just mean that we are offering the highest of quality service in the industry. It means that we are focused on serving three key pillars, our people, our clients, and our communities. Without any one of these pillars, the company falls. If we don't have our people behind us, if we can't lean on the team here to get the job done, this company doesn't go anywhere. If we don't have the support of clients, with their business year after year, the company can't be successful. And finally, if we don't have the trust and the buy-in of the communities that we serve, we can't con continue to grow and diversify the way that we have. So to us, the purpose, the why, is service beyond analysis, and it is very important for you to understand that that is the vision. That is what we expect everybody to buy into when you work within the walls of this company, and that's what we expect our clients and our communities to hold us to when we do complete our work. So in addition to the purpose, let's talk about the core values that we represent. Internally at Agate, there are six core values that are fundamental to this company, and the first one is respect. We value personal diversity while treating all people with dignity. This doesn't mean that we expect each of us to have the same beliefs, or each of us to act in the same way, with the same behaviors and same mannerisms. The beauty of this company, our strength is our diversity. It's about each of us bringing something different to the table, a different background, a different culture, different shared experiences, different strengths and skill sets. But at the end of the day, we must respect one another. 
There is absolutely no ability for us to showcase that we do not respect one another in the workplace. We expect that each of our employees is treating every single person with dignity, and in return, we expect that they are receiving that same dignity and that same respect from each of their coworkers. This is something that not only we expect internally, but we expect that we will get from our clients as well. Treat others with respect and you will gain that back. The next value is accountability. We admit when we are wrong, we take ownership of our actions, and this is so important as a laboratory. It's important as any company, because we're human. At the end of the day, we all make mistakes, and that's okay. It is okay for us to make mistakes, because that is expected. But what is most important is that we are able to stand up and we are able to showcase that we've done wrong, find the root cause, and learn from it to do better. We can't sweep things under the rug. We can't pretend they didn't happen just because we might be concerned about the consequences. Being able to be a strong team member means that you are willing to showcase that level of accountability. You are willing to ask for help when you need it. You are willing to reach out and indicate where something went wrong so we can do better. The next value is innovation. In today's world, things move fast, they move quick, and they are ever-changing, especially in the laboratory industry where things have become highly commoditized. There are pressures on us to do things better, faster, quicker, and more efficiently, and each of us needs to take a role in innovating as we move forward. There are responsibilities on all of us to find better ways to do things. Each of us has a skill set and expertise that we can bring to the table so that we can find solutions as we move forward. We can't just sit in place. We can't do things because they've always been done a certain way. We want to be a leader in science and advance the knowledge that we have internally at this company so we can help to support our clients and our communities. And with that, innovation is key and paramount to our future. The next value is passion. We exude enthusiasm in all that we do, valuing the fun and enjoyable environment that we exist in while embracing every challenge along the way. And this passion is something that we want to be genuine. We want you to wake up every day and enjoy what you do. Enjoy coming to work, enjoy the people that you work with, the environment that you are in, because passion breeds passion. If we can be happy, excited, enthusiastic about the work that we are doing, it means that we truly value the work that we are doing, and that is important to us. We don't want to just do this for a paycheck. We don't want to just do this for an invoice. We want to do this because it matters and because we care. And with that comes a passion in our energy and our environment and the culture that we have here at Agate. The next value many of you will likely recognize, and that is unity. We support one another, we share a common direction, we lift each other up, and we celebrate our achievements as one. At Agate, we have a unity campaign that we roll out each and every year to remind ourselves of how important this is to the company. We are a team. We don't do this as an individual. We don't do this as one person. We are a team, and that team is who succeeds together. No one is more important than another here at this company. We have different roles and different responsibilities, but we are each just as important to what we can achieve together. And to be able to achieve that together, we have to come together with that common sense of direction that ties to the purpose. Each of us has to believe in service beyond analysis. Each of us has to believe in doing better for one another, for our clients, and our communities. A quick excerpt of our Unity campaign is located on this slide with that flying geese formation. For us, that flying geese formation represents how integral Unity is here. It's a symbol of the fact that we can do things better, faster, we can get further because we are together. We work on the thrust and the uplifting of one another here at the company, and along the way, we encourage one another and we are happy for one another's achievements. And finally, we have the core value of integrity. Arguably, this is one of the most important core values that we represent. 
We do the right thing for the right reason, upholding our ethics no matter the outcome and putting quality above all. This is so incredibly important here at the company. As a lab, the results that we produce matter. They have a significant impact. And we need to be sure that integrity is first and foremost in our minds. So with that in mind, I'm going to expand on this core value and we're gonna talk about how this ties into our quality management system. So why is this so important? Here's a couple quick examples of just how serious the consequences and ramifications can be if we don't put our integrity first. In the first example, a civil settlement was reached with an environmental testing company, AccuTest Laboratories, over claims that testing procedures were not followed. And when you look through this example, some of those testing procedures that weren't followed, in some cases, may not seem that impactful if you're just looking at them from a day-to-day -day level. They did not perform the required number of shakes. They did not wait the required amount of time in between shakes. And there's no description on whether or not that was seconds, minutes, hours. And they did not properly spike samples with a known compound. These are things and situations that can come up in a lab every single day, not adhering to the SOP. And you can see from this that the ramifications can be severe. Two more examples. Paramount environmental lab owner pleads guilty to falsifying results. And in the second, Greenville lab director sentenced to prison for falsifying results. So in that first example, that civil salt settlement was worth $3 million to resolve. And in these two examples, we're talking about actual jail time. That's how severe this is. That's how impactful this is. This is why the results that we produce do truly matter. We have expectations from our clients and the communities that we serve that we can stand behind the quality of our results. We need to be able to trust in the data that we provide. We need to be able to stand behind the data that we provide. And if we were asked, we need to show every step along the way that we've done what we said that we would do. We've done what we've said in those procedures has been written out. Going back to that innovation piece, there's going to be times where you might think that I can do this better. I have a faster way or I have a more accurate way. I have a new method and that's fine. We want you to bring those ideas forward, but you cannot just implement those at the lab level. You can't just do that at the bench at the time of testing. There's an entire process for us to prove out whether or not something indeed can be a newer, improved or modified method. That ties to our accreditations themselves. So please come forward with ideas and suggestions if you have them, but understand the importance of adhering to the procedures that we have in place because they are there for a reason. Those were just some examples from the environmental sector of the consequences and ramifications, but I wanna be very clear that this can happen in all of our sectors. The mining, energy, environmental, transportation, industrial, agri-food, and life sciences. Each of these represents an area where we provide laboratory results that are truly impactful. Just imagine you were walking through the grocery store and you were deciding what you were going to feed your family for dinner and you're looking at the shelves and picking out products. Do you want to know that the laboratory that analyzed those food samples cut corners? Do you want to know that they decided to take a shortcut in their quality control systems? That they decided to maybe shave a peak here or there? Or they decided not to shake as many times as needed. Or they decided that there was a new method that was better in their eyes, but they didn't actually prove that out and they didn't get approval through regulatory bodies or accreditation. Would you feed that food to your family? Or what about drinking water? When you turn on the tap, do you wanna know that a lab can actually stand behind the data that has proven that that drinking water is safe for consumption? Or do you wanna know that there might've been gray areas in that? That's how important what we do is. That's the kind of decisions that our laboratory data is used for every single day. And in addition to that, the lab data is used for corporations and companies to make critical decisions that can impact human health, the environmental protection, and so many other things. What you do here matters. It's more than just that one result. It's more than just that one responsibility that you might have on your plate. This impacts us 
it impacts our clients, and it certainly impacts the communities that we serve. So let's talk about what we stand for. We want to be known as a leader in science and collaboration, and we feel that we are. What we do internally here is something to be proud of. Each of you does a tremendous effort, day in and day out, of upholding our quality. Over 60% of our staff represent individuals with bachelors of science, masters, or PhD degrees. And in addition to that, many of you hold professional designations. Those same professional designations mandate that you complete either an ethics course or a sign-off, some indication that you will uphold yourselves to the ethics within that professional body, that you stand for integrity. So it's not just about what we're asking here at Agate. It's about what is asked from you everywhere. What we want you to understand is that when you buy into that purpose, when you buy into the core values, you, you are issuing a promise. You are promising to uphold those core values. You are promising that integrity matters. And you are promising that that will tie into your ethics. So the Quality Control and Quality Assurance Department. Many of you are already understanding and knowledgeable of what goes on internally at the labs day to day. Things like the documented procedures, internal audits, our personnel training, the non-conformance corrective action reports that we issue, finding root causes, learning from them. There's a multitude of things that go into our QA department. But they always need our assistance and our help. The expectation is that when they need us, we are there. When they are asking us to fill out reports, to work on root causes, to do better, to follow SOPs, they're not just asking because they want to. They're asking because they understand how impactful our data is. They understand what goes wrong and how severe it can be if we can't stand behind it. Many of you understand that we have accreditations across all of our divisions in all of our locations, varying accrediting bodies that will come in, produ produce external audits, take a look at our systems, ensure that what we say we are doing, we are actually doing on the laboratory floor. But I must urge you to understand that this isn't just about being prepared leading up to or during an audit. This is about being prepared every single day. Every day that we come to work, we need to act like an external auditor is coming into our building. We need to be sure that what we are doing stands for what we say that we are doing. Again, do the right thing for the right reasons. It is that important. To us, we cannot compromise quality. We need to trust in everything that we do and we need to trust in one another. So let's now talk about the internal and external pressures that you face because we know that they are there. None of us are immune to this. Each of us has our own pressures on our shoulders given the roles and responsibilities that we have. Some of those pressures are internal. Some of those pressures are external. You might have a manager who is pushing you to get those results out faster. And that manager might have a client who's called them concerned. They want things faster, cheaper, more efficient. There's many pressures and many expectations on us. But I want to be very, very clear with you here today. We will not compromise quality for any of those requests. Yes, we have expectations and yes, we have deliverables, but our quality comes first. You need to be able to stand behind the data that comes out of our laboratories. If for any reason you feel that that is being compromised in the name of meeting a deliverable or meeting a TAT or meeting a pressure internally or externally, we want you to know that you can stand up to that. You have a voice. You have a way to say no, because that is the expectation. Quality cannot be compromised. Now, here are some of our expectations when it comes to quality and our ethics policy. To be sure that we each understand just how important this is, we are asking that every employee at the company complete an annual review and sign off of three key documents our ethics policy, the internal and external pressures, as well as data integrity and impartiality. These are located on the internet. They're also located on our training system work hub. They are available for you to review at any point in time if you need to refresh. 
but certainly on an annual basis, you must sign off on these. Every single year, this is your promise. Your promise to yourself, your promise to each other, your promise to the clients and our communities that you are going to stand behind your integrity. That each of us can trust in the fact that we are upholding our ethics, that we understand what is being asked of us, and that we understand when we have the opportunity to say no. To say that is not acceptable. We need to hold ourselves to a higher standard. So those three documents must be reviewed and it must be understood that that is your promise and your commitment. And if you forego that for any reason, if you decide that you aren't going to uphold the ethics or integrity, if you decide that you aren't going to adhere to our quality system, that is grounds for dismissal. That is a value infraction that we can't overlook. We have to hold ourselves to this level of accountability. And finally, when you see these concerns, when you see these challenges in the lab, if you feel that there is a value infraction, if you feel that quality is being compromised, and you've tried to go to your manager, you've tried to go to your regional operational leads, you've tried to go to your QA team, and nothing is being resolved, or if perhaps you're just too concerned to bring it up at those levels and you want a different outlet, we have created a new quality escalation portal on our intranet. You will find the link in the left-hand column and you'll be able to go in there and you can indicate a concern that you have for our quality system. That concern goes directly to myself and our national director of QA, Vince Hill, who also sits in our corporate office. And together, him and I will review and evaluate every single submission. And we can promise you that we will act on the concerns that we get. Because again, quality comes before all. We need to understand just how important this is and we need to be able to stand behind what we say we are going to do. That quality escalation portal can be submitted with your contact information, but it can also be submitted anonymously if you feel like you do not want to put your name down. We value all feedback that we get from all staff at all times. But we certainly expect that if each of us is adhering to ethics, if you feel that there is no other way to be able to get that message across, here is a new venue for you to be able to submit. I'd like to close by saying thank you to each of you. While this is a very important topic, and while we're talking about the severity of outcomes in which the quality management system is not adhered to, I'd like to take the time to say thank you to all of you for actually following along, for doing the work that you know is important day in and day out, for being able to provide us with deliverables and results that we can stand behind. Our focus today is ensuring that that continues to move forward and it continues to evolve and get better every single year. We will be sure that we never focus on standing still. Our quality system will continue to improve because that is our promise to each other and to one another. And finally, I hope that this gives you all the understanding of the purpose of this company and our core values. These are things that we should be living and breathing every single day when we come to this office and when we come to work. These are the things that we need to buy in with one another. Again, the diversity of us is our strength. Our ability to not be like one another, that is key to our success. However, when it comes to the core values, that's where we need to align. When it comes to our purpose, that's where we need to unify. We all need to grow and build in the same direction off of each other's shared experiences and expertise. And we know that we have a tremendous road and future ahead here at this company. So thank you all for partaking. Thank you for being a leader in this organization. And we wish you well and much success into the future.